The average hotel price for one night in New York City is over $400. So of course I got excited when I saw an Airbnb listing for just $97 per night. But as they say, if it's too good to be true, it definitely is. This host is renting out an RV. This is so weird. Yes, an RV for you to sleep in in New York. I still don't know if this is even legal to sleep in a van in New York City. The location, well, it moves, but I got it for a night in the East Village. It smells. What's crazy to me is this. Very few people have actually stayed at this listing because, well, there are basically no reviews. I'm kind of torn between this is so ridiculous and I'm so excited. And in the description, the host really hypes it up, saying you can experience the van life phenomenon that's super popular on Instagram. But it's also kind of cozy. Uh, I have no idea where uh, I can go to the bathroom in the middle of the night. My host tells me to shower at a local pool and use public bathrooms of the gym or Starbucks. Honestly, I don't know if I'm gonna make it a full night without a bathroom, a sink, an air conditioning. I'm literally in a van in New York City. But here's the thing, after Starbucks closes, she gives you the name of a few bars nearby and tells us to use their bathroom. Talk about a weird thing to ask for when you walk into a bar. I literally just found a parking ticket on the van. So it's nine o'clock and I kind of need to pee. So I'm gonna go to a McDonald's or Starbucks and uh, figure it out before it's like time to go to sleep. All right, it's about 10.30 and uh, I'm just sitting on my laptop. Uh, I hotspot to my phone, so I was able to have the internet but I guess I'm just gonna go to bed now. I did open the window a little bit to get some airflow, but the problem is when you open the window, you can hear every little bike that goes by, every person that walks by. So this is gonna be a really interesting night of sleep. Luckily, I'm a very deep sleeper, so hopefully it's fine. All right, it's 8.30. Surprisingly, I slept actually through the night. I'm, I, I really thought when I woke up it would be like 5.30, but it was 8.30. It was kind of cozy actually. It was a very cozy experience and um, I just really need to go to the bathroom now and I have to figure that out. But overall, this was like a cozy experience. It kind of felt like camping. You hear a lot of sounds. I used to live in New York for years, so I'm used to it. I can sleep right through it. It's a little bit weird when people are literally walking like a foot away from you, but they have no idea you're in here. Overall, uh, it was a unique experience. I'm glad I did it, but I would never do it again, if that makes sense. I feel so shady coming out of the van in the morning. But I need to find a bathroom. So I went, I took a shower, I went to the bathroom, I had breakfast, and now I'm just getting ready to check out. And uh, yeah, you're just supposed to leave the keys in the lockbox, and that's it. By the way, in the house rules, she never said, don't take the RV for a spin. I wonder if it even turns on. No, it's not turning on. It's probably for the best. All right, I just checked out. All right, what's up guys? Thanks for watching this video. Let me know in the comments, would you spend $97 to sleep in an RV van? Remember, the location is very, very good. I'm really curious to hear your thoughts. While you're at it, check out more of my videos. Find me on TikTok and Instagram at Upton.